What's up, Snake fans? Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Surfers Daily on this beautiful Valentine's Day weekend. And here's my second Valentine. My wife's a man with my first Valentine of the weekend, but here's my second Valentine of the weekend. Annie Hall, my female anaconda that I've had from one day old here. And she doesn't like to eat rodents too much. Actually, you know, I got her onto rodents off of chicks. She ate chicks for the first year of her life, pretty much. And now she'll eat rodents, but she'll only eat frozen thawed rodents, rodents. I put a little live mouse in there, it was dead. It's stinky. Stinky, stinky. She didn't want to kill it. I don't know. I, I guess she, it's good that she's got a really good personality and she doesn't like killing too much, but that's okay. I'll just feed her some frozen thawed. She, for a snake that doesn't eat that much, she's, she's put on some, some considerable girthiness and size. So um, I have to say that... Um, these things don't really need to eat as much as you think they do. They'll grow anyway, especially anacondas. It's all about the genetics. That's what we always say in bodybuilding too. If you've got good genetics, it really doesn't matter how you work out or how you eat. You still, you still will, uh, <laughs> you'll still perform really well. And like you see, she can eat sparingly and um, she's still gonna be nice and big. But I'm in no rush to get her huge. So if she wants to take her time, that's fine with me. Anyway, we're going to take a look on this uh, Saturday, Sunday of Valentine's Day and uh, maybe take a look at a couple things going on in the snake room. And hopefully maybe by Monday I can get this video up because uh, I cheated you guys out of the video last week. And so I'm going to give you guys some little extra stuff. I'm just kind of, I'm trying to go over, I have racks I haven't set up yet. Uh, Freedom Breeder sent me, I bought these thermostats from Freedom Breeder, which are like super high tech and I can't figure out how to see them and uh, how to work them and because they're so small to print, I have to like get my magnifying glass and, and look at them and uh, read the instruction book. But that's what happens when you get older, you need reading glasses. So anyway, I'll get those set up eventually. And uh, right now I'm just cleaning some uh, snakes and moving around some males and females with the ball python. So you never know what I might film. All right, hope you have a great, great weekend. Say I love you to your loved ones. Aria, what do you got there? I'm What kind of turtle is that? It's an albino, that's right. And it's an albino softshell turtle. Can you show us the turtle? Yeah. Let's see. I'll put him in my hand for a second. Oh, he's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can we go put him back in the water? Yeah. Let's go put him back. We're doing some turtle tub cleaning, right? And our Ari and Logan are helping. All right, Ari, let's put him back in the water. I just put him in the water a little bit. Uh, Logan's got the pink belly side neck turtle. That's an Asian water turtle. Let me show the belly so you show how red it is. That's why it's called pink belly. You see the pink belly? Yep. Really nice. Okay, Ari, right, put yours back in the water now. And Logan's gonna put his back in. All right. They're doing really well. Ah, there they go. They're friends, they're buddies. We got a mixture. There's my albino red ear sliders, that pair right there, and then that's my albino pink belly side neck turtle, right? So we got a whole bunch of them. And then that, we have another red ear slider male. This is, I don't know, he's, I don't know if he's sick, he's not doing too well, he's been, he's been laying in the sun a lot, so kind of just letting him be. Watch out, Ari, we don't want to get a water flood all over the place. All right, guys, uh, look what I just caught on my back pool deck. It looks to be a little, oops, skink. There he is. Oh, yeah. He's really cool. He's dark. He's black. He's got a nice little stripe. Logan is dying to catch him. I had him in my hand. Let's see if Logan can catch him. Come on, Logie. Grab him. Okay. He's oh, going to get away from you. He's laying there. Right in there. I can't get him. He's laying there. Now, let me grab him. Hold on. You got him. You got him. Yes. You got him. There he is. He bit me a little bit a few times, but he's got really tiny teeth. These are really cool. These are di these are different than the annuls you see down here in Florida. These are, have like uh, some really they're they're bigger. They actually look like my blue tongue skinks, except they're just mini miniature versions of them. Yeah. I think with lighting it's too a little harsh. Let's come yeah, up here. I'm holding. But um, I'm holding. I wish I could uh, we, I wish we could breed these things. We don't have any albino versions of these. But look at him. He's biting my finger. Logan, look at him. He's got a nice little bite on Daddy's finger. You want to hold him? He's gonna jump out of your hands if you don't hold him. Look at him. Look at that little guy. He's got a nice little bite on my hand. What? Doesn't hurt, but 
I don't think he can't even break the skin, but he's calmed down. See how he's calmed down now? You want to pet him? That's what I love about living in Florida. You gotta, you, he's, if you don't hold him, he's gonna jump off your hands. Maybe we should just let him go. Let's put him down, maybe we can watch him run up to death. Here we go. Oh, oh. Get that out of Ralph. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> don't scare him, bug. All right, well, here we go in Florida. You know, you got pretty much all these animals. I, I have to yet to go out herping in my yard at night. I can only imagine what I can catch. Oh, I think he's going to go for a swim in the, in the pool. Let's see if he jumps in. He looks like he's going to go in there, Logan. I, 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 We got it all here, guys. And you know what? You guys are freezing your tuckers as well up north. Skins drown. Here's my Hurricane Orange Dream Freeway looking amazing and this boy hopefully will be in the rotation next year I almost sold him I'm glad I didn't get rid of him he's actually got entry in him too so that's Hurricane Enchi Orange Dream Freeway which is yellow belly and asphalt tremendous tremendous looking I, I believe and, and he's 50% head pie too so you never know can't, you know, can't discount that there's just some wildness going on in this thing, and uh, it's a dark, dark orange, and you've got some crazy side pattern going on right here, which is obviously the hurricane swirls being stretched out by the um, all the other crazy genes in this thing. <laughs> Tremendous orange saturation here, looking really nice. And let's see if we can turn them over without them getting too, too upset. Nice white belly. That orange dream. Very happy with the way this boy turned out. Little update on this boy that I produced this past year. This was a late clutch. And this is my banana pastel pinstripe Mojave clown, which is also 50% head hypo. This uh, will be my hold back that I'm keeping from that litter, or one of them at least. Yeah, I can never have too many male clowns that are really spectacular. Pin, you know, pinstripe really surprised the heck out of me, I gotta tell you. I never thought pinstripe clown was gonna look so cool. And I, I produced a bunch of pinstripe clown stuff, and this boy is the most, the craziest. Obviously, with the banana gene in there, and that Mojave mixed in there. I'm pretty sure there's Mojave in there. Once again, I'll have to prove a lot of this out, but, I mean, that's not just a pinstripe, you know, pie. Excuse me, that's not just a pinstripe clown. I produced one of those, so this, this is just more than that. And the, the level, I don't know if it's coming on the camera, the level of orange saturation in this thing, you would swear, you would swear that there was orange dream in this thing. And there just isn't. There's pastel, obviously, can make things orange. Clown is orange in and of itself, and pinstripe has got a lot of orange in it, but, and then Mojave can lighten things. So it was just that combination. They just really work. We talk about epigenetics and uh, how, you know, these genes interact with each other and um, this is just a um, perfect example of that beautiful, beautiful looking male. Look at that head. All right. I have a uh, carpet python. Didn't escape. I just did a little cage cleaning on it. She keeps knocking over our water bowl. I don't know. And so, I don't, I, you know what? She doesn't look that big to me. I don't know. She's a big snake because I've had her since 13, but... I mean, I don't know if she's, I don't know if she's gravid, to be honest with you. I don't think so. I put her with a male. I told you, snow. All he does is like to climb this guy. Look at him. <laughs> it's my snow male. He's, he should be old enough. He's two years old. I don't know. I don't know. I, she would normally be, you know, wrapped up on the hot spot. She's just a little too active. I, I mean, I wouldn't mind giving her the year off. It's not going to be the end of the world if she gets the year off because she's bred for me three years in a row. But I wanted it to come back to her with the, uh, the visual snow so that we can produce more visual snows as opposed to, you know, hitting one out of a, a clutch of 25, you know, and having a lot of pos heads. So I don't know. I don't think she's going to go this year. I, don't, I, I didn't see any locking action. I, I mean, they were laying on each other and stuff like that. It's possible. Um, she just doesn't look that big to me. She's beautiful. 
she's healthy and stuff like that. And like I said, I don't mind giving her a year off, but she's um, she doesn't feel like she's got eggs in her or anything like that. But we'll continue. I'll continue to keep the mail in with her, and we'll see. You never know. She might surprise us. She's pretty. She's pretty big for a carpet, you know, girthy wise. So, I mean, there could be some eggs in there. I could. I should probably just ultrasound her and take a look. All right. Now she's trying to like escape here. All right. Let's get her back in her cage. There's a gorgeous hypo blood. It's parahet and pet for anery two in a tree. <laughs> Love the snake. This is my whole back. Look at that stripe down. Look at that dorsal striping. Crazy, right? Beautiful. Really nice blood. Hypo bloods are, are gorgeous. But this snake, I don't know if it's the power hat in there or the head anery, something is just making this thing look spectacular. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. And on this uh, Valentine's Day weekend, hopefully you had a, uh, a really interesting time uh, watching me go through a lot of weird stuff in my room and uh, just a, a potpourri, as I always say every week, I always give you guys a potpourri, at least one video of, of various different things, boas and bull pythons and carpet pythons. But the truth is that this weekend is about love. So make sure you remind your loved ones how much you love them and it will come back to you 10 times over. Those are my wise words for today, guys. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications, hit the like button. I'll see you back Monday morning.